Hi guys, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make shortbread cake squares. It is a perfect recipe for this time of year. We are around the holidays and really close to Christmas and other special holidays as well. So let's go over the ingredients. So we'll be needing one pound of butter. If you use unsalted, then do add the salt that I have added in to the recipe. If you do use salted, then just omit the salt. That's perfectly fine. So you will need one full bar of butter, which equals to one pound of butter. In here, we have one and a half cups of cornstarch. We also have one cup of just regular granulated sugar and we also have three and a half cups of flour and into the flour I have added as I mentioned one eighth a teaspoon of salt so just a little pinch of salt and we're also going to be adding about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and what I have here is a 9 by 13 um, baking sheet well not a baking sheet a cake sheet brownie sheet whatever you want to call it and I have lined mine with some parchment paper for easy removal but you can just add some butter around the pan sparingly or some nonstick spray and that'll work as well so you also want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and now we're just going to start off by mixing our sugar and butter and adding the remaining ingredients. I'm going to be using my standing mixer but you can definitely use a hand mixer or um, a spatula and a bowl would work uh, fine as well. Okay, so into our bowl, we are going to add in our softened butter. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. Okay, then we're gonna add in our sugar. And we're going to mix it until it's creamed together, probably about a minute or so, and just scrape the sides of the bowl with a spatula along the way to scrape any extra uh, butter that's stuck on the sides. So this mixture is already looking good already. If you can see, we're just going to add in our vanilla extract, and then we're going to give it another little mix, and then we'll add in our dry ingredients. Okay, so now that that is all creamed together, we are going to add in our flour. Now very carefully, and you wanna have it on low speed because you will have your kitchen in a white disaster and you will get full of flour as well. So you wanna put this on low speed to start off and then once it's starting to incorporate together, you can higher the speed just until everything is nicely mixed together. Okay, so at this point, after you have added your flour and mixed everything together, you want to add the cornstarch with a spatula because this is going to become like a dough, like a shortbread dough. So definitely you're going to have to use a spatula or a wooden spoon and then with your hands you're going to pat it into your pre-greased pan. Okay, so we're going to add in our cornstarch now. Woo! cornstarch all over the place now. Now honestly, if you have a clean set of hands right now, all you have to do is mix this with your hand. Okay guys, so this isn't your typical cake batter that uh, you would make that is nice and creamy, pourable, and beautiful. This is more like a cookie dough, and you'll notice when you're adding in the cornstarch that the best way to do it is with your hands, as if you're making like a, a chocolate chip cookie dough, for example. So it is going to be a little difficult to mix, but not impossible. You just have to use a little bit of elbow grease and you will be fine. So this is what it looks like. And now what you want to do is just pat it with your hands into your uh, pre-greased pan. And we're ready to bake it in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it does take a few minutes to even the... Um, I would say cake dough, I guess, into your uh, pan. But it's just with a little bit of patience, you will get it done. As you can see, mine is 
nicely uh, put in my pan, nicely leveled. Just make sure that you flatten it out so that one side isn't um, higher than the other. And now we're ready to place it into our place it into our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll let you know what mine look like when they're done and how long exactly they were in the oven for. Okay guys, so my shortbread cake squares were in the oven for exactly 25 minutes. Now I'm gonna let them cool in the pan for about five to 10 minutes and then we'll remove them and try them. Okay guys, so here you have it, our shortbread cake squares. They are exactly like a shortbread cookie, but in a bar cake form. Really delicious, um, very soft in the center. I definitely suggest you guys try out this recipe. It is perfect for this time of year. And that's about it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get my video updates every time I upload. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video. Bye.